first off. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, I know this is probably bad quality or whatever. I don't care. This is not what I'm here for. Uh, camera computers aren't the best. So, I follow everything that's been going on between Paul and Banks and... You might want to be more specific than just single names. Team 10 and Phase Banks and um, a Drama Alert, all of that. I follow all of that. Um, and I've been seeing everything that's been going on. Um, I'm going to let you guys know now I'm a bit heated. So there are going to be times where I'm going to be calming myself down. Um, because this is a very serious subject that should not be fucked with. And... And one that hits pretty close to home. Yeah. Mr. Poole is right over here. He's eating right now. And being my support. So, the whole fucking abuse thing... I'm trying so hard not to be mean. I really am. I'm going to take this off. Like, honestly, this is not helping for whatever reason I put on. Anyways. This whole abuse thing that supposedly Banks, you know, put Meg, the assistant, in a headlock and tried kissing her, tried dragging her, all the fucking new things that are being brought up and everything like that. After all, you guys all have seen the screenshot between, you know, Nick Crompton and FaZe uh, that FaZe has put out there because Nick decides to only show the, you know, I guess, shitty part where he still apologizes even though he doesn't remember her at Warwick. But, you know, it's a good thing FaZe... Uh, sent out his side of the story on that screenshot and shut that down real fast. I'm sorry. First of all, if this was real, I don't know if it's not. I don't know. So far, everything is looking like it is just a story and it's not cool. You are dragging somebody's name through the mud for, honestly, views if this comes out to be false and everything like that, um, and to so, ruin their career or anything, like, are you quick, serious? I'm I'm going to specify here because you didn't. What you are directly ad addressing the Team Ten group with with that message right there, because it wasn't a hundred percent clear. I wanted to make it absolutely sure everybody knows we are addressing Team Ten. Yes. We are addressing Team 10 because <laughs> they are showing every single possible sign of lying about abuse, which is a crime. Yes. Um, and that's why I love you and why you're here. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to lose my train of thought, too, because straightforward, yes, I've been a victim of abuse multiple fucking times. And I am a survivor of it. And I've helped many other girls get through it. Literally. <laughs> uh, my first attacker. I got to put away. It was a time. It was for a time. But still. I watched him in court. Did everything. Didn't come to fucking YouTube about it. Because if it's actually real, if there's an actual police report and everything like that, you are not supposed to say shit. That is why, another reason why I very much believe FaZe Banks is because he's not slandering anyone. He has repeatedly said it over and over and over again that he is not out here to ruin anyone. That Jake Paul has had great ideas and stuff like that. Like, he's, he's you know, given props here and there. He's been a really good fucking sport in this. Even though you motherfuckers, Team 10, are dragging his name through the mud.
in my mind, if this shit was real, Meg, why didn't you go to somebody in the club? Why didn't you go to security? Why didn't you maybe, you know, run into somebody? Why didn't you talk to the rest of your Team 10 mates who were buying them drinks at the table that you were supposedly dragged onto? Yeah, which, by the way, where are those guys? Where, Where are their side of the story? Hmm? All we've heard is what Meg has to say, which I'm sorry, she's barely said shit, she's barely shown emotion. Every single fucking person who has been traumatized or harmed, assaulted, anything like that, would not be that calm. They would not hold themselves together like that. And I can attest to this as well. I have helped three different girls file five different restraining orders against abusive partners. And I have spoken with many more traumatized women. And not a single one holds their composure. Trauma is not the type of thing. Ask a psychiatrist. (laughs) You would have to be a sociopath, a legitimate sociopath, in order to not show emotion after trauma. Mm -hmm. So unless Meg is a sociopath... And if she was, she'd be a lot more brutal about what she was saying. Because sociopaths don't hold things back. They really don't. I know several. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of scary when you do actually know multiple. Fuck. Um, I was living with one for a while. <laughs> yep. Got my happy ass out as soon as possible. Was on the road with one of them. And once they learned about, you know, my Chucky fear... Uh, yes, I am scared of fucking Chucky. whoop de fucking do Who isn't? Um, besides you horror freaks out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, he decided to use that against me. Decided to shove a Chucky doll in my face. Not only that, while we were driving, I have post-traumatic stress disorder. Yes, I do. <laughs> I very much fucking do, and this is very hard to talk about. But if it wasn't for me, a lot of girls would be getting the same treatment that I did. And I have gotten thanks. I have gotten messages. And unlike you, Erica, I'm going to respect somebody's privacy. And I'm not going to post that message. It's disgusting. It's great. When I get messages from people telling me how strong I am and how I've helped them. Not because I come to YouTube and I talk about it. No. Because I've told people on Facebook who are there and I flip flop a lot on it where I go from being emotional to angry to depressed do sometimes where people think I'm suicidal. But I don't go putting out there people's messages about how I've helped them. How I've shown them how strong I am and shit. Yeah. I'm pretty strong. Sure. Team 10 You're the reason why people who have been abused don't come out. Not drama alert. Not phase bank. You. Because you know what? There has been a piece of me that hopes that this is true. That hopes. And it's fucked up. It's fucked up. I will admit that. No, no. 
It's not. To hope that somebody actually was violent and that there's truth to it is not fucked up. Because what's fucked up is lying about abuse. There are people out there. There are people out there who will go around and claim that others have raped them so that they can get attention. That others have abused them so they can get attention. And this is a crime. It's fucking sickening. It is worse than the actual act. Because you are ruining somebody's life so that you can get attention or perhaps revenge. Baby. I'm literally doing this video right now. Because watching all of this makes me sick to my stomach. But I'm hoping that there's some truth to it. I'm hoping that you guys aren't lying. Because if you are, you are just as bad. Worse. Just as bad. Worst. What the fuck ever. You're disgusting. Please. Then the people who've done wrong to me, who've done wrong to the boys and girls, who are actually traumatized by this shit, I wake up every fucking morning having to fight and tell myself that I am worth being here. That what happened to me is not my fault. Because it's not. The shit that happened to me was not my fault. They were sick motherfuckers. And Banks has said it. FaZe Banks has said it. If he did cause that Bruce, he's apologized already. Just by saying that if it is true, that if he hit you in some type of way, he is sincerely apologetic. And I'm sorry, but I've been in multiple clubs. I've been harassed in multiple clubs. And the harassers have gotten kicked out because I've said something. That makes no sense. Why didn't you go back to your table? Why didn't you tell the people that you were with then? That, that's to you, Meg. Why didn't you say something then? You had to come to YouTube? To make it public? Oh, there's a police report. I fucking pray that there is an actual police report. I pray that this is the truth. I'm sorry, FaZe. I love you. We, we brought you guys fucking cookies. <laughs> But the fact is, it would be better that FaZe had done something and apologized for it and it was true. And even if a police report goes through and he gets arrested for harassment or in worst case scenario, like he would get arrested for, for assault. And honestly, that would be better than having lied about him assaulting you. And then the entirety of Team 10 is now trying to back this lie, which makes you all accomplices. It makes you all harassers. It makes you all slanderers. I've been a victim of slander before. It's a, honestly a worse crime. Erica, you're no hero, honey. I'm saying that with 100% confidence. You are sickening. We already have proof that Jake Paul is abusive. We don't personally have proof. 
No, oh, we've seen it. <laughs> it's all over fucking YouTube. We have it because it's public domain. You guys can say all you want that he's not. All this shit, that's fine. Whatever. I don't fucking care. But you are no hero. Hotline this, hotline that. Oh, I've been abused. Really? What abuse? Because every single person that I've met that's got abuse doesn't hold themselves together. I've... You saw me. I broke. I'm still breaking. Because I'm angry. Honestly, I couldn't go to sleep without making this video because after watching your response <laughs> if this was such a big deal if this is all true shut the fuck up drama alert is drama alert it is a news YouTube for a reason because Keem is gonna put up what he finds He's gonna put it there. Sure, he's laughing at his own fucking jokes. Because he doesn't believe. He doesn't believe that FaZe Banks did it. I'm sorry to say, I've I've dealt with a, too many of these kinds of situations. And I've had to go through the process of searching through evidence to prove rather somebody was innocent or guilty. I've had to do it. On several occasions I know the process and I'm sitting here and I'm looking and honestly I don't like getting involved in these types of things I don't I don't like drama but I'm also not the type of person who keeps his mouth shut when there are blatant lies oh oh actually good fucking example of hero He's got a fucking scar. <laughs> because we stopped a public domestic violence abuse between a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Intoxicated boyfriend. Wasn't just only us. Our friend was there too. Of course, we're not going to toss out names and put up photos. You can come at us, sure. I don't give a fuck. Well, please do. I, I honestly would love, 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 love the chance to put you in prison for harassment and slander against us. <laughs> go for it. He's fucking go for it. He's a bit overprotective, and oh, I can't, like I can't do shit. anything. To, to, I, I can't do anything against them unless they come after me. I know. They come after me and hallelujah. I've worked with detectives. I've worked with police officers. I know this system. And you are showing. You've been taught it. Yeah, literally. <laughs> by the police department that trains LAPD and Anaheim. And Long Beach. We're not going to put out where we're at, of course, because we're not idiots. You want to find us, sure. But we actually do have working cameras all over our fucking house. I'm, I'm no stranger to, to any of this. And Team 10, you are showing every single sign of lying you can't keep your fucking story straight either oh he clotheslined her and put her in a chokehold and he was looking down at her to kiss her where was that in the video prove me wrong please please I will accept when I am wrong I will always accept when proof is being thrown at me. I've seen the bruise. I'm putting that in quotation marks because I don't believe that it's actually bruise. 
I've worked with enough bruises. I, I've taken plenty enough martial arts to see bruises all over the place from all different kinds of things. I had a self-defense class where we literally clotheslined each other into chokeholds exactly like you said that they did. We had a girl in that class who was anemic. She bruises at nothing. Yeah. Like, literally, she flicked her leg to prove that it would cause a bruise. And we, in that, when we were doing those chokeholds, no bruising. So, how did a bruise like that happen? That's, that is an, imp assuming that that bruise is real, that is an impact bruise. It's not a chokehold bruise. If it were a chokehold, you would see the entire neck. The whole arm goes around. And where it actually pinches is on the sides of the neck, on both sides. If he clotheslined you, it would hit the front. That's where the esophagus is. The esophagus would partially collapse, it would swell, and she wouldn't be able to speak the next day without struggling through the pain. I've been hit in the esophagus, taken a direct hit to it before. Any harder, and it would have collapsed and I would have choked to death. Not only that, I've been hit too. Like, not even hit, sorry, play fighting. And I've been hit, I've been in chokeholds, all of that shit, and I will literally cough and be in pain. And I will try talking. Nope. I'm hearsing. I sound like a fucking horse. I sound like I have a sore fucking throat. You can't talk. Typically the next speaking, day. several days later is when you finally start actually being able to breathe normally. Yep. I mean, if you're lucky and it was a light strike. That's why I said play fighting. Yeah, I've I've been I've been hit lightly and I've been hit hard in the throat and always while sparring. Never. I'm not the type of person who gets into fights. Mm -hmm. I've been in one true altercation and that was the time that I took on an intoxicated person to defend a girl anyways back back to why I'm here cause actually he just got home from work he was working and walked in and I came and told him I had to make a video cause this isn't cool. It's not. You are so far in my eyes teaching kids to lie. Make up rumors about people. Just for the fun of it. It's disgusting. You guys are supposed to be role models? Did you forget that you already finished high school? Uh, also the fact that, sorry, so far I only know that one of them didn't finish high school. Oh, right. Claimed yeah. to, to drop out. That was a smart idea, wasn't it? Look at you now. I'm sorry, I understand. And Logan, this is to you, dude. I understand standing by your sibling. I have four... I have four siblings. I'm the middle oldest. Because the oldest wasn't in our life for a while. I'm the one who took care of my siblings. So yeah, when people came at them, I was the first one to jump in the way. I was the first one to defend them in any type of way. Actually, what's funny is it was kind of reversed. I got picked on, bullied constantly still fucking do 22 years old can you believe that still being bullied i think they can believe it pretty well considering that team 10 is bullying people constantly their a own members a 25 year old <laughs> um i think they know bullying pretty well they actually uh would protect me i almost got jumped and if it wasn't for my 12-year-old sister at the time, when I was in high school, who went charging right behind me, literally standing there, my, uh, my little sister is a pain in the ass, I love her to death, 
were literally standing behind me growling at the females. She was growling. Siblings take care of each other. So Even I, when we don't like each other. Yeah, so I understand, Logan. And thought FaZe has said it too. He understands too. He would have done the same thing. But you also have to understand that there's a possibility. If you look at the evidence, it leads very heavily to the fact that your brother is guilty of a very serious crime. And FaZe has already said that he's willing to drop it. Willing to drop it? Willing to apologize? If it's true. I still Even don't believe anything. Even if it's not anything. true, he said that he was going to drop it if they dropped it. Oh, yeah. The whole dropping thing. Team day. 10, <laughs> get out. You've got a free pass. Use it. Apologize to the fucker and get out. I've seen this happen before, and I have watched people go down the drain because they were too stubborn to take the free pass and get out while they could. He's saying that he will not press charges. He's saying that he will drop everything if you just leave him alone. That's a luxury you will not get again. Yeah. Another thing. Excuse me. Um, just back to the main thing. It's not cool that you guys have brought in it, Team 10 have brought in this to YouTube, if it was a serious thing, you wouldn't even be able to talk about it. If there was an actual police report, you would not be able to talk about it on on YouTube. Really, you really wouldn't. Because it's defamation of character. It's spreading lies or truth that hasn't been proven yet, which in parentheses, lies. Like, you're not supposed to be talking about this, so obviously there's already, that's already sketchy. Shit, I'm sorry, but with as much bullshit and abuse I've been through, I wouldn't have let somebody who chokehold me and supposedly tried kissing me out of that fucking club until they were caught. And even if you were too scared to go to the security guards, which, honestly, <laughs> if you're scared, usually the first thing that you do is you go and find somebody to help you. Yeah. Obviously, you want to get away from the attacker. Self-defense 101. If somebody assaults you, you get the hell away. Yeah. Well... Right. It's just... Meg, I really hope you're fucking telling the truth. Because all this drama... And I swear to God, if it comes out that you're all fucking lying... Again. You are disgusting. Revolting. And you are the reason why people who have been abused, raped, molested hurt in any type of fucking way beaten you know I can go on you are the reason why we can't come out why we are afraid to be treated like liars I won't go to therapy anymore because I was treated like a liar I had one good therapist I wish I still had her. She's fucking amazing and treated me like a human being. No. Sadly, I had to move. And after that, therapists and doctors would say, ask me questions about what I was wearing. It's about her. What I was wearing. Well, who was I talking to? All the bullshit. All of the different things that could possibly mean that the victim was the one asking for it. Didn't ask for it when I was 15, 16 fucking years old. Yeah. We 
we need to wrap it up before the battery dies. Yeah. And we lose the whole video. <laughs> so, I know we went on a whole rant there. I know it's probably like, yep, 30 it's, minutes it's long. It's been half an hour, and I'm so sorry that, that you sat through all of this and had to listen to us repeatedly say the same things over and over again. But yep. honestly... It's because it's that important. It really is. If you're the type of person who is willing to spread a lie to try and gain attention, get views, or even get revenge on somebody, you're one of the worst kinds of people on this earth. You are worse than a rapist. Because you're not just damaging somebody's body, you're damaging their entire life. You're not creating a blunt trauma. You are creating... You're creating hell for somebody. Just to get a kick out of it. Or whatever your fucking reason is. The term psychopath comes to mind. But I know that that's not entirely true. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you have to be a borderline psychopath to be able to pull off something like that. Either way. For those of you who have actually gone through this and everything like that, and you feel that these people have saved your lives at some point and everything, I'm going to respect that. I'm not telling everyone to hate them. I'm not telling everyone to unsubscribe or anything like that. That's none of my business. Do your own life. Be confident in yourself and be who you are and be strong. Because hate and slander and drama are really easy to do. But love, hope, caring for one another seems to be falling off the face of the earth so much now. Seek truth, then form opinions. So if you guys really are going through issues, please speak up. Find help. If you Keep trying. Don't stop. Yeah. There is always help out there. There really is. And, you know, I would know. I've gone for it. But thanks to him... I've been able to do more with myself than anything, and I'm still struggling every day. So please, look into yourself. Be your hero. It's great to have other heroes. It's perfectly fine. I have multiple heroes. <laughs> but be your own hero. Remove yourself from the drama. Go have fun. Do something, you know, awesome. Well, school's coming up. So everybody who's at school, welcome back to school. Get that <laughs> education. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night. Thank you for listening to the rant. I know the hate comments are coming. Whatever. And um, have a good night. Rest easy. Believe in yourself. Alright. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys.